It's a love story, first of all, and it's always inspiring to tell a story that has everything that comes with love, like the beauty of it and the bittersweetness of it and the sadness of it. It's and romantic. The loss and yeah. And it's this old story that's lived yeah. throughout time, but it's a fresh retelling of it, and it, we seem to be able to break through that old story and be able to get the audience to stick with us. Yeah, we continually invite them in. Don't yeah, we? it's like our house. The stage is our house, and we sort of say, "Come on in and, and play with yeah. us." It's an incredible show to bring a date to. We can see people in the audience, and there you can see people like connecting by the end of the show in tears together yeah. and they hug at the end of the show sometimes you see kissing during the show it's got a lot of romance i think when we first did it in vancouver it felt like it was a bit of a love letter to the local community as well and we felt like the the show kind of grew but people enjoyed the fact that we all have a presence in the local community but when you take it somewhere else and that same feeling exists you know that it's something much bigger than that that it's actually speaking to people's hearts and inspiring people and, and getting them talking to each other about it, which has nothing to do with where you come from, where I come from, or where the play originates. It has everything to do with the profoundness of the piece. You'll love the show for its romance, which is so rare to have real legitimate romance in a show these days. And the music is one of the best scores of a, of a new musical I've ever heard. It's gonna be a rock concert. It's going to be musical, it's going to be a back kitchen party, it's going to be a piece of theatre, and it's going to be a love poem all in one. What more could you ask for? <laughs>